Hello and welcome to Travel Umbrella, the channel that covers all aspects of travel. So in this video we've done a full end of cruise review of our experience on Cunard's Queen Victoria. Uh, did we love it? Did we hate it? Or was it something in between? Stay tuned to find out. Um, we're currently on board the Queen Victoria uh, cruise ship, the Cunard Queen Victoria, returning from uh, Hamburg. Um, which today is the last full day and we're disembarking in the morning at Southampton. Um, so we want to do a, a review of our, our four night, five day cruise. And uh, first of all, we're going to start on the embarkation process, then going to move on to sort of dining and drinks then the ship in general and uh, probably just a sort of a sum up really at the end with our overall thoughts. Um, just to give you a bit of background, we have um, we only started cruising last year, in July last year. We've done one, uh, two on Sky Princess, is that Sky right? Princess, yeah. yeah. Two on Sky Princess and one on the P&O Aurora. And we were keen to try um, a, a few cruise lines to see what fits fits us really so hence this opportunity for a sort of a shorty mini cruise on the Cunard Queen Victoria came up in January so we thought um, as a little post Christmas treat we'd, we'd give this a spin to see what we thought so so we are not vastly experienced cruisers having said that we are f very vastly experienced travellers so and uh, so we're, we're going to give it a, a warts and all review, really. So uh, we're going to, I'll let Helen kick off um, with um, the embarkation process and um, how we, we sort of, how we negotiated <laughs> the first day. Okay, so we actually decided on this occasion, uh, rather than use the CPS parking, which is very good, it's it's so uh, that we haven't had issues with it, we just decided to extend our short break by another evening. We would stay at the Doubletree by Hilton in Southampton Port. Um, so we um, had one evening stay there. We've also left our car there in their car park. And I just wanted to add in, I know that's obviously not about the ship, but I think um, if you are looking for somewhere to stay, we had an excellent experience there. Um, Check-in was smooth, the room was lovely. Um, the breakfast in the morning set us up for the day. It was very good, good selection of everything you would expect, hot and cold buffet. Um, and then we had a free taxi to Southampton Port, um, which was about a 15 minute car ride. Um, and we were dropped literally right outside the entrance and we didn't actually handle our luggage. The luggage was taken out by Cunard staff at the port, um, put onto a trolley and taken straight to our, our pod. So um, if you are looking for somewhere to stay, I, I would highly recommend the Doubletree by Hilton Southampton Port. Right, so as, as Helen said, I think we, we both really enjoyed that, that um that stay and it uh, it made the sort of the, there was no worries about sort of getting caught in traffic or anything like that so in that respect um it obviously adds a bit to the cost but having said that we we're not paying cps parking rates which are expensive so uh there's it's probably not too much in it there was obviously no. a bit of extra money on food and drinks on the evening before and as you know i don't need to tell you all that hotels in the uk uh, they do. They are expensive for food and drinks, but in the nature of the beast. But we, we thoroughly enjoyed the stay, and we we'll, we'll use it again. So we can't say we failed on that really. Uh, so uh, as Helen said, we got dropped off by the taxi right outside the Mayflower terminal. Our luggage we we didn't even carry the big touch of big suitcases. They were taken out of the boot by Cunard staff, stuck on a trolley, and whisked away to the pod. And we just had our our carry on as such. We then um, proceeded to check-in um, which was I have to say very smooth not exactly warm and friendly and fuzzy but very smooth and very efficient um, we, we we were actually a little bit earlier than our scheduled time and but that didn't seem to be a problem so we we whisked through um, that and then on to security security the slight queue at security but when I say slight it was slight sort of a five minute wait really and we whipped through security and then straight on board ship so in that respect 
it was a pretty smooth embarkation, probably the second best out of all of our embarkations. I think really, from so. being dropped off in the taxi to stepping onto the ship, a maximum of 15 minutes. Yeah, I would say. It, and, it yeah. was very good. Yeah, and you can't complain about that. that, that no. That's pretty damn good, really. Um, so, yeah, we, we then sort of stepped into, I, I think we come in on deck one, didn't we? Yes. yes on deck one, yeah. Sort of atrium. It's, yeah, sort of deck yeah. one, sort of slightly um, slightly back of midships it was. So, uh, and they were, they were, they were keen to get people on board quickly, which which was nice to see. Really, they were sort of almost chiving you along, which I'm not complaining at. It was good because um, um, we 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 sailed bang on time as expected, and so there were no delays or anything like that. So, and they had entrances at at the front and the aft of the ship, so they were sort of doubling up on on getting people on board quickly. So in that respect, very efficient, very effective, and then yeah, very. Cunards will be uh, commended for that. Um, so the first thing we, we wanted was a drink, <laughs> but in order to get a drink, you need your cruise card, so you, you need to find your cabin. Um, found the, uh, we asked uh, a, a Cunard member staff, who was very helpful, pointed us in the right direction, and our cabin was on deck one where we where we um, where we joined the ship. So no stairs or lifts for us. It was nice, and uh, we just trolled along, two or three minute walk from the atrium area to our cabin picked up our cruise cards, looked inside and our luggage was here already. <laughs> Which luggage is, was, was that's quicker a than first. us. <laughs> yeah. that, that is a first. When yeah. you think how fast the, yeah. the onboarding process was. It was, was. very quick, yeah. And, and to be honest, and, and luggage is normally left outside your cabin for you to drag mm. in. Um, with Cunard. They hadn't unpacked though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't unpack and do any ironing, but uh, but the luggage was inside the cabin, which was a, a nice surprise, really. So uh, so then we 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 thought, right, drink time. Let's 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 get a drink. It's been a been a torrid day already, so we need a drink. <laughs> so any we uh, sort of uh, again walked back, sort of retraced our steps back towards the um, atrium area and found the. Golden. Oh, we went up a level, didn't we? To, yeah. to the Golden Lion pub, which is sort of a, a Cunard's version of a traditional English pub, and, and it's done very well. It, it looks very much it's, like a traditional English you pub. You could have been in the middle of London. You could have been yeah, in a pub. Yeah, it it yeah. was very well. So we we grabbed well a quick done. drink there, and um, so um, very smooth embarkation. Um, Happy with well, the cabin. Before you proceed from the drink. Yeah. So we made a little bit of a mistake. Oh, yeah, we made a bit of a rookie error. <laughs> yes, yeah. we did. So we should have taken note of our room number because <laughs> once you've got your card and you leave your room, the card doesn't tell the Cunard staff what room number you're in and it doesn't tell us. So when we went to get our drink, we had to. Very, very quickly try and remember. Well, our, our we cabin sort of number guessed, was... but we had a lucky guess. So <laughs> we, we did our muster station bit. We went to the muster, and, and the late I, I said, "What cabin number?" She said, "Don't you know your cabin number?" I said, "Not off the top of my head, I've forgotten." So we looked on the crew card, and it's not on the crew card. I suppose for obvious reasons, for security reasons. So I'm not blaming them for that. But it was a bit of a rookie error, but it's something that p possibly somebody else could do as well. So just just to let you know, make sure note you buy that. Yeah, or make a note of it, or if you've got a better memory than me, a mental note. Yeah, <laughs> make a mental note of it. So um, so I've, I've got a little quib list here. So please excuse me for for referring to this. So uh, yeah, into the cabin. Um, I've I've got a separate video of the, of the cabin review, but there's a couple of quick ones to touch on which I'll do now, but there'll be a more comprehensive review of the cabin. Um, there are no USB points next to the bed. In fact, there's no USB points in, in the cabin at all. Um, so, and there's only one um, UK plug outlet. There's one European and one American. So uh, again, we made a bit of a rookie error. We bring, didn't bring adapters, so we've been living off the one plug outlet really. So, but They're normally in the suitcases, and I don't yeah. know why they weren't this time, but yeah. In, um, on Princess, um, it's a very similar setup, three different types of plug, but they do leave an adapter in your room as well, so you, effectively you've got two straight away. With Cunard, um, we, did, we haven't asked for one, they might have been able to provide one, but we, we haven't asked, but we've, we've muddled along with the one plug outlet. But, so you'll need a USB adapter, obviously, uh, and uh, maybe some, um, 
so European and US to UK plugs if, if you're cruising from the UK. So yeah, that's that's one of the impressions. That the cabin is, is pretty roomy. Uh, we've been more than happy with the space. It's quite a roomy cabin. Um, the bed, extremely comfortable. It's set up as a queen, which obviously we requested. You can have it and as the, twins. the bedding is really good quality. Yeah, I'm, very I'm good. very impressed. It sounds yeah. a, perhaps it's a... A bit of a it's a woman thing. A woman thing. I don't know, <laughs> but it it has been really good quality bedding, and it, it does has. make a difference. It's been very comfortable. Um, we had a bottle of champagne. At, well, I think it's a three quarter bottle of champagne yeah. and glasses left for us upon arrival. That was nice. All I think everyone gets that. We haven't paid for that no, or anything. Never. That's just like a Cunard perk as such, you know, which was nice. And it was chilling in the fridge upon arrival, so yeah, that was nice. I think the one downside of the room that I found, and I think you agree, is although you've got lots of hanging space, um, my long dresses are touching the bottom of the wardrobe, so I think they probably could do with, because I think most people that, that dress up for gala night, you know, a lot of the women will wear, and some of the men, will wear <laughs> long dresses. So the dresses have been sat on the bottom of the wardrobe, um, not fully hung. And I think the biggest thing, more so than that, is there is a lack of drawer space. So um, I do think there is probably room in here to have a chest of drawers. Yeah, there is, um, yeah. And it would definitely benefit from it. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, plenty of hanging space. I mean, all our shirts, blouses, jackets, and the, all hanging up. No problem, Mad so. But I can't hang my knickers on. <laughs> so yeah, some some additional drawer space would probably. I mean, bear in mind we're on a, a four night, five day cruise. Yeah, but we've packed for yeah. a four week <laughs> cruise. But if you're on a, a longer voyage and you're you're bringing more more kit and caboodle. Um, I'm not saying you're going to struggle because you might pack smarter than we do, but but it is worth noting that it, it's probably just enough storage for us. Uh, we don't pack light, unfortunately. We we need to get smarter at that. But um, yeah, it's, it's, you haven't got oodles of, of space, shall we say? Mm. So uh, in that respect, it is worth noting. Uh, so where are we up to? I'm just the TV. Uh, that's yeah, the, yeah. Worth <laughs> pointing out. Um, so there is no on-demand TV so I, I think I've grasped it um, you get a lot of paperwork with Cunard it's um, not very environmentally friendly for forests um, <laughs> so there is a TV guide but well I've given up trying to figure it out I, I can't because when I thought I'd figured it out the time the film was supposed to start it was halfway through another film so I'm not quite sure how that all works but if you if you catch a film sort of halfway through, you've got to wait for it to finish before you can start watching it from the beginning. Um, it's all preset channels, is that the yeah. right terminology? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, that's... Again, um, comparing it with probably Princess, you can go on Princess and there's like a library of movies. There's, there's probably 30, 40, 50 movies. You can, you can just select on demand and, and various yeah. TV channels and... Uh, and, and that is all on demand TV, which is perfect because you don't know what time you're going to come back to your cabin or even if you're going to come back at all. Do I, now that I'm back in the cabin, do I fancy watching a movie for an hour and a half before going out? Uh, so that on demand is is, is really handy. Um, and I did expect something on, on Cunard as good as, I must admit. But um, in that respect, it's, it's lagging behind with the technology, I would say. Yeah. Right, have we covered... I think we've covered... Um, one thing we, we have noticed that there have been rumours that um, they've had problems with the heating this ship has been cold and I mean cold look don't get me wrong it was minus 9 when yeah. we arrived in Hamburg yesterday so it was freezing cold outside and <laughs> snow but we were expecting the ship to feel warm but people have been going around in coats and scarves and it is cold yeah, it's unusual because on my other cruises, on our other cruises, sorry, um, I found them probably too warm, if anything. Um, yeah. So, you know, you can wander around in a, just a short seat in a polo shirt and shorts and what have you and, um, and be more than comfortable. 
on this ship, I we every every time we've gone out uh, during the day, just to walk around the ship, we we've, we've been carrying fleeces, and we probably would have we'd put, put coats on if we bought them. We didn't actually bring coats because we yeah. didn't didn't plan to get off in Hamburg. So, uh, but um, if we had them, I think I'd have put them on. But um, yeah, it, it's been uncomfortably cold and mm. not just slightly chilly. and everyone has actually been commenting yeah. on that so that isn't yeah. just our there were rumors that, that they had problems with the heating um today is the last full day and today it's significantly warmer so maybe there was a problem i don't know but mm. um but it is significantly warmer today but even today i wouldn't say it's it's toasty warmer no so it's, it's more comfortable we we do like it warm but but Bear in mind that the demographic on a Q and R cruise is probably older than than some of the, the some of the, the the average age is probably older than some of the other cruise liners. So, uh, the nature of the beast. So, I, we, we fully expected the ship to be toasty warm in in all locations, mm. and it certainly hasn't been. So, maybe we've just been unlucky in the heat and did pack up. But um, I don't know. Don't know the answer to that. Um, so our um, cabin steward is Jamie, who has been absolutely amazing, no problems whatsoever. I don't think we're terribly needy anyway when we're away, but we have um, asked for a couple of things and, and they've been here where, as soon as we've come back. No, nothing's been too much bother for him. The room's been cleaned um, in the morning after we've left. Um, and again in the evening when we go out for the evening there is a turn down service and you get left chocolates that's a nice little touch um you're left clean towels um that that's been very good yeah on the towels subject um i'm probably not the smallest guy in the world but the towels are tiny <laughs> I, yeah. I expected something big and fluffy from from cunard and uh, they are certainly not big and fluffy towels, so um, they are very small. Yeah, they are the, the sort of the bath towels or shower towels, whichever you wish to call them, are hand towels. Yeah, at home. Yeah, what we would use for hand towels at home. So yeah, yeah I mean, don't get me wrong, you get plenty of them, and as soon as you ask for more, you'll get more. But um, they're, they're just not big. Uh, no. and, uh, and just about wrap around me, but um, <laughs> only just. But as I say, I'm not the smallest person in the world. The shower is um, the shower's been fine. It's been hot. There is the dreaded shower curtain, which is the bane of, of many cruisers. And, and I was probably a little bit surprised that uh, Cunard had persevered with a shower curtain. It's not big enough to take a door. No, it probably it isn't. isn't. No, it's it is tiny. very small um, it's very bathroom, tiny. but but I mean it, everything's in there. That it, it's going. adequate. The only thing I would say is I'm five foot seven. And the shower nozzle, you must struggle I do. <laughs> because it is very low, and I'm ducking to go under it. So you must be, and you can't. It, it doesn't move. It's fixed. No, no it's so. a fixed shower. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm six foot one, and I wouldn't say I'm particularly tall. I mean, there are lots of people taller than me, and I'm ducking to 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 get my head wet as such sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, that's better than something else. To, well, you you can't adjust your height, can you? If you get on the board and you're six foot five, <laughs> you're still going to be six foot five. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's snug, shall we say? The shower is snug, but uh, again, it's all perfectly adequate. But I think that's that's going to be a bit of a theme of this review. Yeah, it's all okay, it's all good, and uh, we, you know, maybe our expectations need to be um, sort of lessened somewhat. We we expected to get on Q9 and be absolutely wowed, and uh, um, the cabin's great, uh, but not wow. Uh, the you know, it's yeah. We're, You'll you'll see as we progress through our review, um, sort of our overall our overall thoughts. So, yeah, I think that's the embarkation and the cabin covered. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what were we moving on to next? Can you remember our oh, dining and drinks? Now, this is going to be interesting. It's going to go a bit downhill now. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, coffee. Um, you obviously get coffee and tea facilities in in your cabin, um, and if you go up to the buffet restaurant and obviously that's only open at certain times oh no well, it's quite extensive opening it's shut for an hour here and two hours there and an hour there and what have you but um and you can get tea and coffee up there as well on uh, tap on it's tap, all on yeah, tap as such um that is the only places where you can get free for want of a better word tea and coffee on board the ship and if you're anywhere else you you'll pay for a, a coffee even if just a, a standard black or white coffee 
don't get me wrong the coffee is lovely it's illy coffee which is really nice um but it's not you couldn't sit in a three or four well you could if you weren't in the paper so that's that's probably the first point to mention however um, you can order it free from room service yeah well if you have it with breakfast it, yeah. sorry yeah if you have coffee with your breakfast it will come as part of the free complimentary room service so um on the general service at bars i would say it's slow at best um uh, i don't want to rip this this company to pieces but you can go up to a bar there'll be three or four people behind the bar preparing drinks and you can stand there or sit there on a bar stool and you can wait five ten minutes and what i appreciate they're busy what gets to me is they don't acknowledge you if they said to you i'll be with you in a minute so at least i know that they know i'm waiting <laughs> but you don't get acknowledged at all um so they are there's there's table service in a lot of the areas so they're busy fulfilling those table service orders um so the people at the bar are, are waiting their turn but as i say I don't want waiting that's fine i mean if they're busy they're busy and that's life you know but at least acknowledge that they know i'm there waiting you know just just mm -hmm. give me a nod or just give me a, i'll be with you in a minute so or anything like that and and but you don't get that so you don't know whether your wait is going to be in vain or, <laughs> or what really so service is slow um if you find a table to sit down you can get table service for your drinks um again that is slow uh, um I, I can't put it any better than that. And well, I, we've often had to sort of make signs to try and catch attention, and yeah. I would say so, it's a bit uh, hit and I miss. Don't, I don't wish to sound like moaning minis or, or privilege or anything. We expect to get a drink as soon as we plant our, our derriers in the chair. Not at all. But um, if you're not going to serve at the bars very efficiently, make sure that the service out on the floor is efficient, and, and unfortunately, neither are. Um, so... Um, we're not on a drinks package, we're paying as we go, so if I was on a drinks package and wanted to get my money's worth, I'd probably be a little bit disappointed because you do wait a long time. And then when you've ordered your drink, that obviously has to go, if you're on table service, that has to go back to the bar, join the queue. And um, and that's a long wait, yeah, even yeah. once you've ordered your drink, yeah, you're waiting yeah. a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, we, we ordered a coffee and a hot chocolate the other day. I think my coffee was obviously ready quite quickly. Then I heard someone say, don't forget the hot chocolate. Um, so they then rustled up the chocolate. By the time the chocolate turned up, Helen's hot chocolate was hot. My coffee was lukewarm at best. So that had sat there waiting for the chocolate to catch up as such. You know? So did I complain? No, I didn't. We're, we're, not, we're not complainers really as such. We just expected it to be bang, bang, bang and spot on service. And, um, mm. and we've not been getting that. We've not been getting that. So maybe our expectations were too high getting on board. I don't know. But um, our experience is service is slow. And to boot, I wouldn't say it's even particularly that friendly, to be honest with you. They're not rude, um, but they are... Almost abrupt. Almost abrupt, yeah. Almost abrupt. But, um, but they're busy, I think. Yeah, they're you busy. Know, maybe then. there's a training issue. It's... They do it's seem to be busy. There's fault. no, there doesn't be to be any opportunity for a bit of banter with your with your waiter at dinner or your someone serving you a drink. But they're not formal either. No, no, they're not. Because I no. sort of expected that with Cunard. I yeah. thought we thought we might find it almost too formal because we do like to get to know the people that are serving us and yeah, have a bit of a laugh and a joke a, with them. Yeah. yeah, have some fun, but neither. It, yeah, it, so it's neither. not. It's not mega formal neither is it informal and and uh, friendly so uh, mm. yeah it, it's yeah it, it's been okay but i expect it better than okay so um so moving on um we've we've had breakfast in breakfast in bed and well, not actually in bed but <laughs> you <did>. can <laughs> you can order breakfast to your to your stateroom as part of the um as part of the deal no extra charge for that and I have to say that's been top notch. That's been really good. You, you you get a little card to fill out, which you hang on your door before eleven, is it or one? I can't remember. You need to hang it out the one night before. One o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And then you select a time. You you tick what you want for your breakfast, and um, breakfast is duly delivered. It's been we've done that twice. It's been delivered on time twice. 
the food has been excellent. Very good. I wouldn't say it's piping hot, but... It's know, room service. It, yeah, so it's I room guess. service, so it has to travel a little bit. But the choice... The choice is really good. I've never come across such a good menu for... for um, in room service actually yeah, yeah, but in particular breakfast you know there is most things that you would expect for um, a hot breakfast so um, all your different eggs and yeah, bacon and sausages and, and vegetarian and, yeah. options and so yeah, that's, that's been a bit of a highlight the breakfast has been really really enjoyable hasn't it, it? it's it, been yeah. my best meal actually <laughs> breakfast in bed has been my best meal but yeah. we've got one more dinner tonight so yeah we have indeed yeah. so, so it uh, and room service in general, we've we've um, mm. a couple of times because it's been cold out there. We've come back to uh, to snuggle a little bit in the in the cabin and crank the heating up because the cabin's warm enough if you get the heating set right. And we've ordered some. Uh, I ordered a uh, club sandwich last night, and that was really nice. So the, the the quality of the food coming via room service has been good, hasn't it? It has. The only the only thing I would criticise is we did afternoon tea here, didn't yes, we? One we afternoon. Did. Yeah. And the cakes, the choice of like little desserts and cakes and scones, obviously, and jam and clotted cream. Um, the only downside was we had two very small finger sandwiches each, and we would actually have rather have had <laughs> less, less of the cakes, which <laughs> yeah. went to waste actually, <laughs> and a few more finger sandwiches. Yeah. That that's the only thing I that, would. That might be a personal. But preference. yeah, that's yeah. that's. I mean, that's just very what, what's minor. a cream tea is it is it desserty or is it yeah celebrate? true yeah but anyway it was good it was still very good yeah so, but it was good because we wanted more of it <laughs> yeah uh, okay. just referring to my um um so yeah we've done room service so we'll move on to the um because we're, we're only four nights and um our experience on princess was that um on our second cruise we didn't bother with any with any um, speciality restaurants because the food and the service in the main dining room was so good I, I thought why pay extra because you're getting some lovely food and great mm. service in the main dining room so we expected Cunard to be better even than Princess it hasn't been unfortunately uh, so we didn't book any special, specialist restaurants I think there's only two anyway you can choose the steakhouse and I think there's an, another one whose name escapes me at the moment but so on our our, um, our experiences in the main dining room have been disappointing, aren't they? Very disappointing. Um, They're it, cramped. Yeah, it, you feel cramped. The sort of the tables are so close to each other. Bear in mind that for the, the there's there's one main dining room for for non club non grill. Um, so in other words, for the vast majority of the, of the passengers. The Britannia dining room. It, it, it's big, but it needs to be big, I guess, because it's the only one there is. Um, so you do feel crammed in. Um, I think one thing that stood out for me, and I, I can't really remember how P&O and Princess have done it differently, but you almost, you're amongst the hustle bustle of the waiters with the dirty plates and the serving and it's sort yeah. of there next to your table whereas I think I know on on um, Sky Princess they almost cordon it off a bit so you sort of know it's there but, but you you're not it, part yeah. of it yeah. but this was you you almost felt the pain of how busy they were yeah, like and eating your dinner in a corridor almost it, it, it was manic yeah yeah it was manic. and not at all a pleasant ambience or relaxing no, it, it was slow. experience. It was slow. Um, they yeah. come round with a, a bread basket, offer you a bread basket with two rolls in it, so you have one each. Um, on Princess, they put a whole bowl of bread rolls of about six or seven different types in the middle of the table, so you have as many as you want. You have one bread roll on Cunard because they, they, that's all they offer you. Um, there was one brown and one white. I, I wanted the white. Helen knew I wanted the white, so she didn't. I was going to fight him for it, but I thought I better not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I suppose you could ask for more. Um, but having said that, the table next door asked yeah. for more, and they didn't get them. So <laughs> No, they didn't get um, a very good response. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it, the service was slow. Um, it, it wasn't particularly warm and friendly. They a lot of the waiters look like rabbits caught in the headlights and not not panicking as such, but they really they don't they're not 
they don't seem to have that level of confidence in what they're doing. Maybe they're new. I don't know. Maybe we've been lucky with Again, the people we got. I think we thought it would be very formal. We actually thought this was going to be too posh for us. Yeah, yeah. And we couldn't have been further from the truth. No, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's not. It's just not. Yeah. So I can put up with service being a bit iffy and all that if the food is exquisite. It's not. <laughs> Unfortunately. We didn't bother um, last night, did we? No, we we, didn't, did, we no. didn't think we could cope with the whole experience, <laughs> to be honest. We were so cold yeah. after a cold day. We, so, um, we uh, on bother. the first night, uh, we both had steak Diane, was it? Yes. Uh, but, no, not, was that second night? Or, no, that was that the first night. The yeah, first night, night was steak Diane. Diane. Tasty enough. Um, it was bordering on cold it was only tepid I would say um, yeah it was okay but no better than I would cook at home and uh, it wasn't it was far from exquisite was it oh really? gosh yeah. no yeah. it wasn't it, it was it, I suppose you'd say it was good it was I like wouldn't... cafeteria food yeah if the bit. truth be known yeah, a little bit um, we waited for a dessert and waited for dessert and waited for dessert. Gave up. And you just feel like... <laughs> it's not like, our style, is it? We and don't... it's not our style, but you've got to get their attention. Yeah. And then, you yeah. know, as you say, they're like rabbits caught in the headlights. You know, they don't yeah. really know what to do because... It's, that's how it feels, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, maybe we take some ownership here by by not returning foods, but I, I think that's just the way they do it. It's transported from a kitchen area out into this massive dining room and it and by the time it gets yeah, to it the might table sit on the side a bit there it's, so, uh, it's cold so, so. I, I like my food piping helen's okay with it warm i like it sort yeah. of warm to hot but, but we we had a soup that was barely warm was it really and it um, wasn't meant to be cold it wasn't <laughs> it was meant to be meant a cold to soup be warm um or and hot. the main courses have, have been as i say tepid to say the least so uh by the time you're halfway through your dinner, it, there's no, no warmth left in it at all, I would suggest. Mm. Um, we um, went for a cheese board one night, and it's probably the most most sorry-looking cheese board I've ever seen. <laughs> and then they bought a basket of biscuits, and they had rich tea and little, like, Jacob's crackers. I know there yeah. are other makes, but little round crackers. <laughs> it, it was... Pitiful, actually. Yeah, it, was. <laughs> it was embarrassing. It was, yeah. uh, we've never once been offered coffee in the uh, after dinner, uh, but having said that, you wait so long for a dessert. We've we've only deserted once, haven't we? Yeah, we've given <laughs> Other up. times we deserted the table. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's the food isn't bad, but it's it's not been well. Yeah. I think we've managed for four nights. But there are a lot of people on this ship that are going on a world cruise after yeah. this. Yeah. And oh my goodness, I would I would not be looking forward to that experience if no, I was I staying on. Would, no, no. If I'm honest. So one was it lunchtime we went up to the buffet? Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah. we're we 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 are typically not buffet users. Um we um we do like to sit down and be served and that's not snob value, it's it's just we just find that more relaxing. We, we've we holidayed a lot in all-inclusive hotels, and so we're probably a little bit buffeted out, shall we say. So that's one of the uh, mm -hmm. one of the nice things about cruising we enjoy is, is sort of being served up. Sort of, so a more formal dinner set yeah, up. Yeah, you're not yeah. bobbing up and down from your seat and what have you. So, um, but have, having said that, we, um, we, we looked at the lunch menu in the main dining room. It didn't look too inspiring to us. And... Uh, so we thought, well, we'll, we'll try the buffet. Um, and I have to say, the buffet was really good. <laughs> it's it's small. It is small. But yeah. there is a good choice. There's not a lot yeah. of repeated choices, which a lot of the buffets yeah. do. Yeah. Um, no, it was small, but very good. I had some good. sirloin beef, which was, it looked, it was, it was quite pink. Um, wouldn't be normally how I would order it. But having said that, it was extremely tender and very tasty. With dauphinois potatoes, well, they weren't the most attractive dauphinois potatoes, but having said that, they tasted pretty good, mm. didn't they? 
So in that respect, um, the, the buffet, our only one trip to the buffet, was, was, was pretty good. I, I and it was right. busy, but yeah. it's quite um, open space. Yeah, it is, So you're yeah. not crashing into other people. Yeah, in it, fact, it, 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 it feels more spacious than the main dining room, actually, to be honest with you. You can sit a little bit apart from other people and yeah, uh, yeah, and definitely. some nice views up there as well, because it's high up on deck nine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So there's some uh, yeah, yeah, yeah some nice views uh, outside the from the big windows now. So yeah, um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a wow buffet, but it was it was it, it was good. good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, so what have we have we reached the end of that section? I think we've covered everything there. Yeah, we? I think. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so that's um, the next section uh, we'll record when we get home. Probably, um, we'll be on the ship in Genoa and our sort of our end conclusions, really. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, thanks for listening. But there's, there's more to come. Thank you. Uh, hi. There. First of all, I, I want to apologise. I've got an absolutely stinking cold or man flu. It might even be man flu. So my apologies for the occasional sniff and the quirky voice and what have you, but uh, I was keen to get this, this video out really sort of uh, as soon as possible after our cruise on Cunard. So, yeah, please bear with me, bear with the quirky voice and the occasional sniff. My apologies. So, really, I, uh, I want to do a quick summary of our, our experience on the um, Cunard's Queen Victoria. First of all, uh, I think it's important to say that uh, if it was a beauty competition, the ship would win hands down. It's an absolutely stunning vessel and and it's so classy inside and, and the decor and the furniture, etc. It, it, it's a beautiful ship, there's no doubt about that. And, and so in some ways that makes it almost a little bit even more disappointing because the... the we unfortunately we found that the service and the uh, quality of the food and the general service um in the bars didn't really match up to the surroundings and um maybe our expectations were a bit high but uh, we're relatively new to cruising we started off with a sky princess um cruise last year which was amazing we then went on a, a piano cruise at aurora um obviously Probably not in the class of Princess, but it's a very different price point. So, in that respect, um, we we thought it was still pretty good value and pretty good quality. Uh, and then so, we were we've been on and then on the second uh, Sky Princess cruise, which was amazing. And so we we, we thought that, um, Cunard was going to be like a step up and sort of like the the pinnacle of, of probably what we could afford as such, you know, apart from the uh, the ultra specialist ones. So maybe our expectations were a bit high, but we found the entertainment a bit lacklustre. It was everything seemed to be running in in series rather than in parallel. If you, you know, you could do a quiz and then, and then you know, it's like ballroom dancing or something like that, and then so the one quiz a day, or it just didn't seem to be. We we weren't kept busy. <laughs> And uh, we 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 like to sort of do a few different things on on a cruise, and um, so we found that I, I mean we actually got bored at one stage. And I mean it's quite nice to just sit around and have a drink and read and what have you. But uh, so we found the entertainment a bit lacklustre. Uh, we definitely found the quality of the food disappointing. It wasn't bad food at all, um, but it it just wasn't at the quality we would have expected. With, from Cunard and it, and it wasn't anywhere near as good as Princess I have to say and again it's a very different price point I mean you're, you're paying considerably more for a Cunard cruise so uh, so yeah manage your expectations I would say and, and maybe your experience will be different but um, I don't think we'll be I don't think we'll be back again on a, on a Cunard cruise uh, you, you do pay a premium for a Cunard cruise and we, we don't think we got the value as such of that, that extra cost so I'm just looking at my my crib sheet here. Bear with me a sec. So yeah, the technology we found a little bit dated, and the procedures were was uh, uh, to, to get a drink. They <laughs> they take the drink order off you. They take your card. They take your card to the bar. They get your drink. They bring your drink back. They bring your card back. You then have to sign a piece of paper. 
and then they come back collect the piece of paper and and on it goes it it just it just seems so antiquated when um on princess with the wearable technology and the medallion you just you just scan your scan your medallion and that's it job done no no signatures no pieces of paper and uh, and and again uh, on the entertainment front with um with um uh, Cunard you only know 24 hours in advance what's happening the, the following day you, you can't plan you know you can't plan for something in three or four days time um and I don't want to keep harping back to to princess but um with princess we probably knew sort of a couple of months in advance what what activities were going on and when and you could bookmark them on the app and um and, and plan your day around that and um, you can plan well, you know, not plan your whole cruise because you, you know that sounds a bit regimented but you know you could certainly pick out things you wanted to do and when bookmark them but with Cunard all we knew what was what, what was happening was the next day and when, when we got our um our little sort of crib sheet for uh, for what was going on um even the tv guide is is reams of paper it just seems they're lacking in the technology front they haven't moved forward and uh and uh, it, again um, um, it's a traditional cruise i suppose but um and it, it harps back to the golden age of cruising i guess and and, and that there will be a, a huge chunk of customers who like that they like the familiarity of that and and like that but um so in that respect, I, I just don't think it's for us. So I don't think we'll be back on Cunard. Um, we've enjoyed Princess a, a whole lot more. And um, we think we get more for our money, to be honest with you. So anyway, we had a great time. The ship is beautiful. Uh, we certainly relaxed after Christmas, which was what was uh, what was the, the object of the exercise. Um, and yeah, as I say, it's, it's, it's a stunning ship. Um, we won't be back on Cunard, but we're really glad we tried it, and uh, it wasn't a complete disaster or anything like that. But uh, yeah, uh, we got another Sky Princess cruise coming up to the Norwegian fjords. I'm I'm even trying a Virgin cruise later this year, so that will be I think that will be a very different experience as well. So we've been keen to try a few different cruise lines. So yeah, please subscribe. Um, there's there'll be plenty of updates coming from the Norwegian fjords, and uh, looking forward to that one in particular. Then, as I say, later in the year, uh, we're on the Sky Princess Valiant Lady, uh, on the Virgin Valiant Lady. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that that will be something completely different, I'm sure. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.